G'day viewers, my name's Graham Stevenson and I'd like to invite you to come on a journey of creativity and learning and adventure through the series Colour in Your Life. There's an artist in every family throughout the world and lots of times there's an artist deep down inside all of us as well. So grab your kids, your brothers, your sisters, your aunties, uncles and mums and dads and come and see how some of the best artists in Australia do what they do. The team would like to thank Dave and Sarah from West Coast Motorcycle Hire. Well, good day, viewers, and welcome back to Colour in Your Life. We are at a small town called Coolangup, which is south of Perth in Western Australia for our WA leg, which is fantastic. And I'm with a gentleman today called Mr. Abel Prakas. Yes. How are you, bud? Yes, and known as, as an artist, Asia Jorbel. Jorbel, that's right, yes. Jorbel, yeah. Asia Jorbel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, my, my passion for art is tremendous, you know, I love art, you know, I do believe so much in art that uh, I feel like every cell of my body is a scream to express through creativity <laughs> and pain, that's why I do action pain, I have to slow down. But that's, but that's, you what, you, that's what you call your art, isn't it? It's yes. just called action painting. But, but Abel has a, a very um, similar bent on the way that we see the world and the universe and you know, which is involving quantum mechanics, mechanics. you know, uh, nanotechnology, the universe yes. itself, entropy, entropy. Th thermodynamics. And, and, what, and what Abel does is he puts that into his artwork and it's fascinating stuff. Really big influence for you is people like Jackson Pollock, Pollock isn't it? Yes, yeah. So. You know, do, do I just, I use Jackson Pollock's technique just to express the way that I think and in you know, the way that you know, I would like to convey that concept about time. It's fantastic, but there's a lot of movement and freedom in the way that Abel approaches his work and it's fascinating to watch. I mean, he just literally moves around the whole thing and there's, it's very expressive, it's very contemporary, but it's very expressive in the way you do it. But it, it really does have a quite profound scientific message behind it as well. But we're going to talk about that as we go along during the day. Uh, we're going to get it set up and start on probably two of the pieces today. I was going to be able to show us, but just really exciting stuff so that you can really watch how the movement of an artist comes from sort of dripping and dribbling and then really creating the emotion. It's, it's going to be really interesting, so let's go for the ride on that. Okay, Abel, now, as I said, a lot of your work has to do with the principles of science. It's true. Fascinating the way you think, I think it's amazing. So, how do we start? I mean, you actually use house paints, and you use spray paint, yeah. You're a real rebel. <laughs> yes, I do, I do. I try to use everything that I can put my fingers into it, okay. you know. And uh, that's why I use uh, wash paintings, you know. It's cheaper, it doesn't cost much money and it gives a tremendous effect. And the plus, uh, spray can. Yeah, it's Cannot fantastic. get as simple as that one. <laughs> it's great. You know, yes. you've, got a, you've got a background in engineering and it's physics, true. and it's just yeah. quite amazing what you've done, so. Yes, uh, that is something that strike a chord on me. Uh, yes, uh, as you mentioned, Graham, I do have a back background in electrical engineering, and always I was fascinated with the phenomena, the way that it happens, and so on and so on. But uh, it was amazing to me when the first time I came across with the concept of quantum mechanics, it was a shock. Anybody that uh, you know, doesn't have that shock is because they didn't understand what quantum mechanics is. You know. But uh, the bigger shock was really three years ago when I started delving more in that concept about time because I read a lot of books and the scientists are saying there is now time as people believe like past, present and future. And uh, so I try to bring uh, in now uh, those concept into my painting so people can see and they can see oh if these guys talk about this they might give next step start investigating you can see any book or, or even internet you just google time is there any time and you'd be amazed there is no time as people believe okay. now i can start <laughs> but i'll try to be a bit slower 
you know, because, uh, yeah, I have to check and because uh, they, they rest a longer time. Yeah. And um, I'm going to put, you know, a bit of red. I love, I love it. <laughs> I love the canvas. <laughs> yeah, all the, all the steps away. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, I'll put a bit of my yeah, mask. Always good to always, have a mask. Yeah, for always the, I do. Particularly for the kids. Even though I'm a bit excited. Always good to have a mask on. Yes, because of the smell, etc. Okay. Bang here. Reminds me of my days when I used to spray surfboards. Yeah. <laughs> You really just sort of work work flat on the bench like that? Yes, always. Yep. And anybody can do that. It's not complicated. It's beautiful. And okay, so where do we go from here? We're no, gonna, because I still you know, the, on, on the before dripping. I still do the background. Eh? Yeah. I have to paint a bit. So you sort of buy big bulk tins of British yes, paints? Yes, I do. Otherwise, it costs a fortune. And um, I have to mix. Look at that. Okay, you've mixed that up there, Abel. Yes, I got enough viscosity to achieve what I want to achieve. Yep. At this stage, it's not dripping paint, it's just the background. Okay. So I just put in a bit of paint with a brush. Very expressive. Yeah. Very expressive. So you're actually born in Mozambique. Yes, I was born in Mozambique. In Africa. In Africa. But you've got a, uh, you've got a Portuguese background, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, it used to be a Portuguese colony. Yeah. And. Uh, and um, yeah, the, the African culture in, uh, impacts the way that I start to think about art. Eh? Yeah. Was uh, in uh, one of the first influences in my, in, uh, my life as an artist. Uh, even though when I went through schools in, in art, in, uh, there was a clutch about uh, art, uh, the way that they do, they express. In, uh, and, uh, but I did have a lot of fun. And, uh, and I learned a lot of things that I didn't know in about uh, everything about the art. Oh, and, uh, but the main thing is after that, I just put myself to express myself the way that I think, yeah. feel, and uh, do things. So what I do is I measure uh, and I put a paint and I put pigment and I got a three-phase machine down in my workshop where I put a frequency that I desire, a program, and uh, I rotate. And by doing so, the pigment uh, start mixing with uh, that uh, it now painted is there. Uh, and uh, this way I create uh, entropy at different levels, where I call low entropy in the past, mid entropy in, uh, and uh, high entropy. Yeah, that's the way. So that, there's, uh, there's a whole psycho psychology and physiology yes, that goes so into just even mixing the paint for you. Correct, <laughs> correct. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> All right, so are we gonna mix the paint then? That's the question. Yes, I do. All right, let's go and do that then. Okay. Now, in, uh, I'll go downstairs. And we turn on the machine. And turn on the machine. Okay, Here's well let's two. go and do that then. Well, this is what you call bringing science and mathematics into art without a doubt. <laughs> so you've got your blue. Yes, I've got blue yeah. with a pigment. Yep. And what I do is I put that three-phase machine. Yeah. That it will rotate. And uh, by doing so, increase the entropy um, of that mix. And I just leave it for 30 seconds. So there is a very low entropy, I mean, low disorder of that pigment dispersed through the blue medium. So what I do is, because 30 seconds, I put time. So he's, he's measuring the time Which and the rotations, and rotations and everything. Start. There it goes. As it rotates, you know, um, I could use a single phase motor, but the three phase gives me more power and I can put big containers. Yeah. 
So does it increase in revolutions as it winds up, does it? Cor no, no, yeah. it's still the same because I programmed okay. to 32 okay. RPMs in, uh, and uh, I just stop at uh, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Bang. Stop, bang. And that's it there, is it? That's it. You know. And I call that one because it got low mixing or lower you know, disorder. The pigment still more or less in this original form are called the low entropy and the, like the past. Because yeah. everything in the universe when it started, everything was so much condensed and compressed of very high entropy. And that's where they call the arrow of time, the arrow of entropy. But uh, that is a different story because uh, we know there is no arrow of time. There is just a concept developed in that, in that area. So where do yes. we go from here? From here, I'll take... Anybody can do this one, very simple machine. No, they can't. <laughs> Only able practice can do this. <laughs> so what do we do? We go back upstairs again? I go upstairs in you know, to start using in you know, this mix into my painting. Let's go. <laughs> fascinating stuff. Absolutely <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> Okay, you got a little jar there, a little squeeze jar. Yeah, a little squeeze jar just to hold the pint that I call low entropy, you know, so to do a bit of dripping yeah. and design the way that I like, uh -huh. the way that I feel. As a matter of fact, as I do, the, the pint is just take a form of its own. I just follow what, what I feel and the way that comes back to me and vice versa. You know, it's like a, a two-way in uh, uh, feeling in the toy, well, I, I don't know if there's feeling in the picture, but to me, I feel like it's a toy in a uh, road where I put as much as the painting gives to me when I do paint. Now, that one, I just feel this one. Now okay. I start the dripping. Okay. There's a, a sequence that Pollock used to use, and they've actually worked it out where it's like a, a like a Fibonacci sequence. Yes, true. It's as you roll around, it's sort of almost like the shape of a Nautilus shell. You say when you start to do this, you just sort of switch off, and the rest of the world disappears. Yes, true. It's like a sort of meditating. You know, paint is very relaxed. Anybody do paint, even the doing that I do very fast and so on. To me, it you now is a way to get out of the quotidian day and do something that I love, yeah. So these are the types of pieces you, you really don't know where they're going, it's just all the emotion flows out of you. It's true, you know, and I just follow my instinct the way that in uh, the, the pint bonds to me and the way that I feel about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Expression it's session. A, yeah, it's a very simple. Okay, yes. Abel, now you're going to mix more colours. Correct. Beautiful blue colour. Yes, I like, I like blue. strong colours. Yep. So you do the same with this one, you've got a, another jar there. Yes, I've got another jar and I'll fill 200 millimetres. Okay. Uh, and I put through that three-phase machine yep. to mix and get next stage of entropy. So I'll call it now medium entropy. And while you're mixing those paints, I just wanted to talk about some of the other pieces that you've done. There's one called the the presence of being, and then you've just simply done your, your swirl again, your Fibonacci mathematical swirl, and then just come up with you know these images within images. You just don't know that they're there until you look into it. Correct. It's, it's a random process, but eventually you know, there is some resonance with the figures that exist in you know, our world. And yeah, they, uh, just, they just appear. It's a little bit like sort of looking at clouds or looking at patterns in nature. Yes. And when you look at your work, there's actually other patterns that come, come about. Yes. Now I'm going to put two millimetres. Two millimetres. Into so two millimeters, 200. Sorry, yeah. Into 200. 200, yeah. Painting. So now painting. you go back downstairs and yes. you mix that one for 60 seconds. 60 seconds, correct. It's all very precise. <laughs> <laughs> and always, you know, I take notes. Yeah. You know, I write here. So you put down the time and the temperature. The pressure, yeah, everything can because I did downloads through the internet. Yeah. And uh, I put the amount of pigment, the amount of painting, the time that I mix, and when I mix it to create 
the desired type of paint to make my painting. Okay. Okay, that one there. In that case, I'm going downstairs. You go downstairs and mix that then? Yes. Now the second stage. So that one's mixed and ready to go. Mixed and ready to go. Yeah, lots of people, they like this type of painting, yep. where it, now, it goes with their own decoration mm -hmm. in today's world, uh, where people understand more about contemporary art. And uh, they love to have a picture, you know, we've got you know, those random colors blend together. Yep. Yeah, and entropy, particularly the second law of thermodynamics, is it's really an increase in the sum of the entropies of the participating systems. Correct, correct. In, uh, in fact, uh, entropy is a measure of randoms of, of uh, that uh, system. And yeah. All right, well, let's see how this entropy goes in. <laughs> mm, very nice. And um, some of the other pictures that you've done, like the Higgs boson. Yes. Now you're even, that's uh, to do with the Giant Hadron Collider in CERN. Yes. And in, in fact, they did prove that, uh, you know, they do co-create the same, you know, condition as during the Big Bang. Okay, now, now for the next colour. Colour, that is red. I oh, like red, red really. My favourite colour. Yes, to me too, you know. I think it might go a little bit with your personality, Abel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> yes, it is. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Tense, the drips, the drips. And the frequency of this colour. Now what I'll do is, I will fill it to Another under. jar. So to is this just going to be straight red or is there another colour that goes into this yeah, as well? Another pigment goes okay. with Okay, because that's the third stage yes, of, of entropy, entropy in your work. So this would be 300 mils. Yes, 300 mils. And now I'm going to mix. And I put 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Yes. Okay, Abel, now the third stage of our entropy mix. The third colour. Yeah, the third colour. Final touch. So do you ever do any really big pieces and put them on the floor and Yes, I do. Yeah. Yes, big. That's why yep. all the floor is all you know. spattered and splotted. And <laughs> <laughs> so, what would, you, what would you call this piece? The three frequencies of life. There you go. Fantastic. You got the blue, red, and green. Three frequencies of life. Yes, three frequencies of life. Beautiful. So, we did say we were going to do two. So, let's yes. make a start on the second one then. Okay. All right, well, you've actually put down a base colour for this particular one, which is what you did in the first one as well. Yes. Makes it easy for you. And which, what are we going to do now? I'm just uh, put in a bit of spray painting around to give that blending. Yep. I expect of two similar colours, green and blue-green. Okay. Now we start doing some in, in uh, dripping painting. Now we've already mixed the colours previously, but you're going to use these colours. Yes, to, this picture as well. to, to use the same, you know, expect that we did. Okay. Now. And away we go. Mm, very nice. We've got the left hand side of your brain and right hand side. One is very technical, another is more dream and so on. Mm -hmm. in, uh, and I've been, you know, many, many years as operator with the technical side. In, uh, with, uh, and now I try to have more balance in my life using the right hand side of my brain. Mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, that colour is done. I can use the second stage. So this one's a swirling effect. Yeah. But that's good, that's what's exciting about your painting, is it? That's right. You know, it really does come from the heart. Completely random. Yes. Oh, well, it's made of random. This is a red this colour. And you might, you know, grab like to, you know, experiment a bit. 
because uh, I'm just make two bottles eh? in, uh, and so this way you can also become part of this painting I can and become, participate. I can become part of the mathematics of this piece. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can be that random. Is so it? how do you go about it then? As soon as you drop and start squeeze soft, it will come in. You know. Okay. It's just a little. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. More. yeah, yeah. And they start coming down. How high? Any, any, any high. Any high? Yeah, yeah, and so, you just rotate it as you go. How do you feel? Good fun? This is fantastic. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this is like therapeutic. <laughs> it's really therapeutic. It's happening, it's happening. And then no. they start to dance. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> For a man that's very structured in his work, this is right outside the realms of what I normally do. But I like, I like that splattering effect as well. And then like that. Yeah, why as not? Well. And then look at that. Yeah. Oh, I see the sweep there. Yeah. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> sweep there again. It's sort of like you can sort of see these other images starting to appear in there. Yes. It's fascinating, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> That's great, mate. That's really cool. <laughs> what an amazing day. Mm. So far, so good. Yeah, but it's tremendous. The fact that you combine all of this science and the mathematics and quantum mm. physics and when you look at it, I mean, the, the, the universe, they say if you understand quantum mechanics, you really don't understand True. quantum mechanics, do you? That's right. Like, uh, you know, my eyes can see the world is flat. I know that it's round, you know, I was proving over and over. In, uh, and as I said before, you know, if I touch my finger, it looks like a solid object. And I know all the molecules, they're empty space, you know. But the way that my brain entrapped in uh, that information and process gives me a very restricted in uh, information about the world where I live. Okay, well that was pretty fascinating. You're a very, very interesting man. There's no two ways about it. Um, dribble, dribble painting using quantum mechanics and entropy, all of the science that you've gathered over the years. And it's, it's fascinating that such a left brain man can be so right brained within his techniques. Correct. I think correct. it's amazing. Now, people are gonna wanna come and see your work. I think it's just amazing what you do. What is your website address? Uh, www.ajarba.com in so my website. We just put that up there. And uh, also, once again, come to colourinyourlife.com.au and see what we do. And come into our Facebook page and also our YouTube page. We've got thousands of subscribers on YouTube these days, which is pretty cool. So, and then come into the website as well. There's a lot going on there these days. And I really think you should, should come in there and find out what we're doing. But what do you normally say when you sort of leave a situation like this? Well, you know, you have to put some colour in your life, you know, in this particular case, through quantum mechanics. It's <laughs> <laughs> great though. <laughs> Till we meet again, guys, remember, make sure you put some quantum mechanics, ah, colour in your life, and we'll see colour you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. <laughs> Bye.